man with gray hair and stubbly face now occupied the lighted chair. Probably a bum. He was filthy and looked like a drunk. He wasn't bound to the chair, but there was a sense he felt obligated to remain seated. The figure loomed beside him. My name is Stuart Walleen, and I wrote Giving Up the Ghost. I was approached by Rutledge Productions to contribute a short screenplay for the horror anthology film The Black Book, and these gentlemen have been an absolute pleasure to work with. There is very little criteria to limit what I could do with the story, but first I needed an idea. And I thought to myself, since this is a horror film, what is the most awful thing I can think of? The answer came pretty quickly. The thought of someone paying to watch another human being murdered on camera is, to me, the epitome of evil, any way you look at it. A number of years ago, I became intrigued and a little frightened at the idea that there are really snuff films out there somewhere. Because snuff films are widely regarded as urban mythology, I was reminded of the 1992 film Candyman, which became a bit of an influence for this piece, although giving up the ghost is quite a different story. I just love the idea of this ambitious graduate student um, exploring folklore only to find out that it's real. And in order to bring this idea of snuff films into a modern context, I looked at how physical media is really becoming a thing of the past. Everything is streaming on demand now. That led me to setting the story on the dark web with so-called red rooms being the basis. As a screenwriter, I've typically produced and directed most of my own scripts, so this was a little different in that I, it was once it's written, it's kind of hands-off, and I was a little bit nervous about that, you know, would they get the story right? When I finally had the opportunity to see the film, I was wowed top to bottom. It turned out my story was in very capable hands, and Topher did an excellent job with it. Uh, the lighting and cinematography were top-notch, but I was particularly impressed by the casting choices. Emmanuel Carter and Dominic Wilkins absolutely blew my mind. They were amazing. They were so good. They were fantastic in the lead roles, and I'd like to thank them publicly for um, applying their craft so skillfully to these characters, which are, after all, my babies, and they handled them in, in that way. It's really gratifying to see something you wrote brought to the to life on the screen and to have been done so well. I would really like to thank the cast and crew uh, for an amazing job, not just on my segment, but the entire film. It's a really fun movie, and I hope everyone has the chance to see it.